Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Homeopathy Super Sessions by Dr. Jagos. Today we'll be doing Robbers Chapter 31, Disease Classification, or Summary. In the previous chapter of 30, we have summarized the different stigmata. Just to recap, psychotic manifestations are strongly functional symptoms. Psychotic manifestations, infiltrations, overgrowth, hypertrophy, hyperplasia. Syphilitic manifestations, ulceration, and distorted tissue, even of the bony tissue. So in syphilitic manifestations, you're getting destruction, degeneration, atrophy, and ulceration. These different shades of all the stigmata may be seen in our patients. So all these different shades of the stigmata may be seen either singly or in different combinations in our patients. However, only one stigmata will be prominent or will, pre or will predominate or above all the others. But Robert says that if more than one stigmata is present, only one stigmata will be predominate or will be prominent as compared to the other stigmata. So the two stigmata are there. One which is more predominant will be seen first or will be, will be noticeable to the physician first. And then the other stigmata will be noticeable once this stigmata has been removed. All the stigmata will have its own characteristic features to help us differentiate one stigmata from the other. And Robert says that all the stigmata of sora, psychosis, and syphilis has their own characteristic features, which will help us to differentiate one stigmata from the other. So all the stigmata have the different types of pain, their onset, their duration, the, the discharges, the odor from the discharges, and their peculiar modalities. So as you all can see that all the stigmata have the characteristic features, which will enable the physician to distinguish one stigmata from the other. The hallmark feature of stigmata is as follows. Sora, functional disturbances, psychosis, infiltration and deposit, syphilitic ulceration and destruction. So again, so it's a recap. In Sora, you get functional disturbances. In psychosis, infiltration, deposits, stasis, edema, and syphilitic, ulceration, destruction, degeneration. However, when suppression occurs, the deeper organ system will be involved. So if suppression occurs, then the disease will travel from the less important organs to more important organs from the periphery to the center. So Sora, when suppressed, will have the action on the nervous system and the nerve centers, producing functional disturbances, which are better by surface manifestations. Psychosis, when suppressed, will attack the internal organs, especially the pelvic and the sexual organs. So Sora, when suppressed, it will have an effect on the central nervous system and will generally cause only functional disturbances. Psychosis, when suppressed, will go to the pelvic and the sexual organs will be involved. In the stigma, we find the worst forms of inflammation and infiltration of the tissues. So in the psychotic stigma, we find the inflammation and the infiltration of the tissues. So it may cause abscesses, hypertrophies, and cystic degeneration. On the mental level, it will cause dishonesty, evil thoughts, and mania. In the syphilitic stigma, when suppressed, spends itself on the meninges of the brain affects the larynx and the throat in general, the eyes, the bones, and the periosteum. So the syphilitic stigma, when suppressed, the meninges of the brain is affected, larynx, throat, eyes, bones, and periosteum. Thus, while treating patients suffering from the stigmata, this classification is of inestimable, is inestimable value. So whenever we are treating the patients who are suffering from this stigmata, this classification is very, very important. That is, SORA, functional disturbances, psychosis, you get hypertrophy, hyperplasia, and syphilitic, you get destruction. It will immediately, it, it will immediately throughout the simile. So when the stigmata are there, each having its own characteristic symptom, susceptibility, susceptibility being high, the symptoms also thrown out will be of, of the particular stigmata, which is very prominent. The simulum is selected on the basis of similarity of symptoms of the stigma of the stigma in a given case. So whenever we want to treat it, naturally we, we treat it to the law of similars, 
build the totality according to the symptom, according to the characteristic peculiar rare symptoms of the stigmata present and we can immediately find out the simile. Here the totality is considered. The totality will help us to individualize the case and the stage of development. However, in case of mismanifestation of the stigmata, the things are a bit different. Here always one stigmata will be more prominent and this will be one which requires immediate. So Robert says that in a case where there's only one stigmata, it's quite simple. Take the characteristic totality, describe and find out the similimum. Whereas in a case of a missed stigmata, which stigmata is more prominent, we have to take that symptom and then treat the patient. Likewise, the next improper in predominance must be cared for until the patient is freed from the indirect from the inheritance of the generation. So, moment you have treated the prominent stigmata and the symptom disappear, then the next character stigmata symptoms will become prominent. So likewise, the next in prominence must be cared for. That means what? The next stigmata, which will, which will be prominent after the first prominent stigmata has been removed. Then you treat that. Hence, in hence cases, the single stigmata will be easier to treat as compared to cases with a mis, mixed stigmata. It requires much more time to destroy the expression of the stigmata. Naturally, so when a single stigmata is present, it becomes less time to trace the picture of the disease and it becomes sometimes easy to treat as compared to cases with the mixed stigmata, which requires much more time, much more duration, and much more experience and expertise to, uh, to destroy the expression of the stigmata. So that's all what Robert wants to say in this chapter. It's a very small video. Hope you like this video. If so, kindly do share, give it a thumbs up and give your comments in the comment section. Thank you so much.